Oh, goodness. Hopefully, we are going to make <laughs> tonight with uh, technical um, craziness here. We have uh, coming, so I'm assuming that's probably why we're having some little bits of, <laughs> of good old technology issues. I mean, I'd love to blame it on the paranormal. That would be awesome. But uh, I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we've got um, another crazy snowstorm hitting. So anyhow, welcome, welcome, my friends. Happy Wednesday. This is your mini media, Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. And I am really, you know, um, kind of, uh, I, I wanted to first shout out to um, a couple of people really quick because I went to, let's see if I can move my hair here. You can go. My shirt says that uh, kindness is free. And this last weekend, I went to this um, beautiful retreat in um, uh, Bear Lake. And um, it just, if you view to our men, absolutely beautiful. And there was about, I want to say like, no, it was incredible. And when I was asked, what is your personal power? What is your power? Um, the one thing that um, I really felt was that um, I, um, I exude, I hope, kindness and um, also uh, healing. So I, I do feel that my, my superpower is to be a kind healer. And I hope you feel that even through my readings and through uh, just listening on um, the uh, the podcast and just um, knowing that this is my um, uh, purpose and what my soul is meant to do during this lifetime um, just has fulfilled me. So anyhow, my shout out really is to the ladies that um, led this beautiful woman's retreat and um one uh her name is Erin and then the other is Camille and I want to thank them and Michelle who also helped so they don't know I'm doing this but I wanted to shout out to them and tell them how much I appreciate them even though I was technically quote unquote working um I really really I wasn't working if anything I got um recharged rejuvenated and i'll tell you um and and how fun is it that today is international women's day so shout out to all of the women and uh the uh and i'll tell you the the history of uh the women within you know around the world i've looked into today i've been kind of doing some fun little researching and I'll tell you, um, you know, they say that uh, that women are starting to really, um, you know, uh, come up in the world, I guess, or, or we're evolving. But I want to say that, you know what, we are just really starting to come up to where we're all feeling as equal, right? So, and that's really at the end of the day that all that matters, in my opinion, anyways. But all right. All right, my friends, I guess enough chit chat because I'm super excited to see how my recharged energy connects um, today. And so we start out with my affirmation. So the affirmation, uh, for those who are not familiar, it's uh, a one sentence or maybe a couple sentence thing of kind of a promise to ourselves, uh, put out into the universe, and then um, we kind of repeat it over and over, right? So when I do this, I connect with my intuition and really pick which number that I've been drawn to. And today I have cannot stop seeing the number 23. So two, three. So I'm gonna count out these cards really quickly here and we will see what our affirmation for today is. All right, perfect. Okay. Oh, I love this. 
it. Okay, so how perfect is this um, that we're um, actually two fell out? I wonder if maybe we should just go with both of them. So I'm going to, you know, we're going to read two affirmations. I feel like there's a reason for everything. So the first affirmation um, for this week says that I am a unique child of the universe, perfectly me, exactly meant to be. Perfect, right? Being confident in your uniqueness. You are a unique soul in this universe, and you are exactly as you are meant to be, 100%. Uh, the second affirmation says, I listen to the intuitive wisdom of my own feelings. I am guided from within. Wow. Okay. I have to say that one resonates a lot with me because I um, struggle some days with listening to my intuition and I know better. I know better. 27 years of being a practicing psychic medium, you should know to listen from within and listen to that beautiful intuition. So um, connecting with yourself and, you know, this goes back to that whole retreat I just went to being um, guided from within and finding what is your power. What is your power? If you don't know what your power is, it's okay. Ask somebody, ask your friend, ask a relative, ask somebody, because I'll tell you, if you don't know what your power is, ask the person closest to you and they will tell you. All right. Well, with that said, um, I am excited uh, to do my um, reading for tonight with my first caller. And this is, um, is it Magdalena from New Jersey? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm good. Good. How are you? Good. I'm all right. Good. Go ahead. Oh. Um, do you pronounce, do you go by Magdalena? Is that what you prefer? Yeah, Maggie or Magdalena. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. How can I help you tonight, hon? Um, I want to know if my dad and my best friends around me and what you see with my my marriage. Okay. Okay, sure. Let me um let me just I'm gonna grab um got some of my cards here and I thought, you know. I've been drawn to a particular deck today. Usually I just, well, sometimes I pull them out to do readings and I felt that today um, was one of those days. So I'm gonna pull out a card here. Now, when it comes to you um, or to your dad uh, or to, I think you said it was your friend that has passed, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. When it, okay, when it comes to them and or you does the number 23 resonate with you in any way no okay that's okay um i generally what i do it um before i get ready to do my readings for the night for my show i am drawn to numbers and um every time that oh my gosh i cannot believe this I, I, uh, sorry, I'm having a little moment. I just pulled two cards randomly out of my deck and I pulled a two and a three. And that's the number that I've been drawn to is the 23. So if this isn't the universe's beautiful way of validating that this is the number for today. But um, when you think of the number, just um, as we're done with your reading today um, for you, Magdalena, just, um, Take time and uh, see if you connect with it. The 23 can be uh, the 23rd of the month. This can be, um, well, I know we're in 2023. Um, it could be this just this year of anything that's really been heavy this year. Um, this, can, this can also be um, February 3rd, so the two and three. And that's that's how I resonate and how I get my messages. So. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, and I, I feel like you'll you'll connect. You'll connect with it. Um, okay, I'm just going to take a moment, kind of quiet my mind, and see what I can pick up with. Um, if we can connect with Jad and or friend, and then if I'm getting anything with your with your marriage, your relationship. 
um, um, I, I first thing I, I feel I keep seeing uh, three children around you. Do you have children? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Are you are you one of three in your family? No, it's just me and my sister. My mom, my, my sister, and my mom right now. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's you, your mom, and your sister. Okay, and you all live together? No, I live with my husband. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Now this would be um I, I see there's three um uh so this can be on connecting if mom had a loss of a child, a miscarriage, um uh or or you had because I, I first and foremost I'm yes. seeing three two. She did, okay, or you did, okay. No, so okay. I did, I know. Um, you did, hun. Okay. Okay. Um you know, I I feel the first thing, it really what I'm being drawn to first, um, I, I want to talk, uh, you know, just uh, about your relationship and um, your marriage. Um, um, with the two of you, uh, I, I feel this sense, of even uh, history is what I call it. History together for yeah. me is at least five years or longer together. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, 13 okay. years. 13 years. Oh, wow. Okay. That is history, my friend. <laughs> um, and, um, uh, okay. Uh, the number, uh, I get numbers just so you're aware. Um, the number six is very strong. I'm getting uh, six, the month of June, the sixth of the month. Um, my birthday. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Um, oh, I just felt this, <laughs> I felt this strong, uh, very excited, very proud, um, what I would say father energy at the moment. Um, the minute you yeah. said my birthday, my whole room just changed. Your dad feels to me to be very strong, uh, very strong energy. So, um, it would not surprise me if this was dad <laughs> messing with our mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but, uh, one thing I felt with dad, the reason I asked, were you close with dad? Um, because I felt this sense of Kim really, um, in a way it just profusely apologizing. I kept feeling a sense of wanting to apologize and wanting to, um, try to take care of unfinished business, if you will. Um, Okay. He also, I uh, feel, shows a concern uh, for you at the moment with um, uh, just so much on your plate. Uh, my concern. Yeah. Do you connect with that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I feel that, that there was some unfinished business with dad. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, I feel like I pl I'm apologizing to him more. Ah. Yeah. Right gotcha. now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hun. Okay. Yeah. Um. And and I I just um, I feel this so much unconditional love uh within my soul within everything I'm I'm getting from him, so giving giving you that message of how much that no matter how much that you are um apologizing or or feel that uh you you know could have done something different or should have yeah that that he's okay you know he's okay so um i i do feel that um when i'm seeing the connection with your uh, marriage the way that I, I'm feeling, and I have to try and interpret this the best way I can, but the two of you are doing what I call vibrating at different levels. So right. you're, you're, yeah, do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Sometimes when I say that, people don't quite understand. And what happens is when you're, you know, you're vibrating at a higher level, per se, and, and your right. significant other 
is lower or higher, then that gap becomes further. And I just feel right now it's, um, boy, it's really causing a lot of tension. Um, and uh, I feel even for you, this new, this year is such a mm -hmm. spiritual awakening year for you. Okay. Um, and what that means is that sense of you starting to find yourself, finding what uh, your soul's purpose is, finding what makes you happy. Do you understand that? Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. Right, right now, me and my husband are looking for a house. We're, we're like homeless right now, so let's just um, stress out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, watch for about the next six weeks. In six weeks, I do feel the two of you coming together and um, uh, even relocating. So if you're looking at trying to find a home here in about six weeks, I keep seeing that being a new beginning, a new change. So watch for that too, okay? Um, and... Um, do you mind if I just tell you a little bit of, of some um, connection I'm getting with your health at the moment? Yeah. Okay. I just, um, I listened to my body and I just, um, I don't know if you've had um, a, a bad cough, but my, my chest is hurting right now as I talk to you. Um, yeah. So the, the lungs. Okay. Um, did did your dad also have issues with like his lungs or heart? His heart, yeah, no, heart attack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that would be a kicking up on his energy as well. Um, but I, you know, I know I've only got about uh, about ninety seconds is what my producer is showing me here. So I, I hope that right. just this little bit. I know we had a lot of technical issues, but I hope this helped you. Um, Thank and you and so just, much. I wish you're so welcome, hon. I wish you so much luck, and I'll send you lots of good positive vibes, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, my friends. Well, all right. Well, even with all the technical issues, um, I hope that uh, we got some good messages out there today. And I want to tell you, um, thank you for listening every week. And please follow me on Stephanie's Tarot Readings on Facebook or Tarot with Steph on Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks so much.